Ladies and gentlemen, it is my proud privilege to welcome you back all again to the second season of the Sanj Panyar Quiz 2019 brought to you by Doordarshan Kendra Shillong. Welcome once again dear viewers to yet another episode of the Sanj Panyar Quiz 2019 brought to you by Doordarshan Kendra Shillong. Today we are in our 11th episode. We have again three new teams who are going to compete for a place in the next round. We're going to take two teams from today. So without wasting any time, let's meet our three new teams. Starting it off, team A, please introduce yourselves. My name is Lisa Dutta. I am from class 11 arts and I'm representing Lady King Girls Higher Secondary School. My name is Anvesha Lod. I'm in class 12. I'm representing Lady Keen Girls High Secondary School. Team A, the team from Lady Keen, all the best to you. Thank you. Moving on now to team B. My name is Najul Rafiq Kurba. I'm from class 10 and representing school Meghalaya Police Public School. My name is Melam Banchan Marbanyang. I'm from class 10 and I'm representing Meghalaya Police Public School. The team from Meghalaya Police Public School, all the best to you. Thank you. Moving on now to team C. My name is Dia Chetri and I am from class 10 and I am representing Balika Hindi Vidyala Secondary School. My name is Chandini and I am from class 10 and I am representing Balika Hindi Vidyala High Secondary School. Okay, Team C, the team from Balika Vidyala, all the best to you and I extend my best wishes to all the three teams. So let's move now to our first round in today's quiz episode and that is a direct question round. So let me explain to you the rules. Each team will be asked two questions. Questions will pass during this round. 20 points for correctly answering a direct question and 5 points for correctly answering a passed question. 10 seconds to answer a direct and 5 seconds to answer a pass. Good news, there will be no negative markings in this round. So you can guess and you can play it safe as well. Okay? So let's begin the first question in today's quiz and it begins with and we begin with team A. This is your question, listen carefully. Who is the current Chief Election Commissioner of India? The current Chief Election Commissioner of India. Very easy question, team A, Lady Keen. Okay, passes on to team B. Sunil Arora. Yes, of course it is Sunil Arora. Five points to team MPPS. Moving on, this is a direct question for team B, MPPS. Listen very carefully. This is your question. Which state was previously known as the North East Frontier Agency or NEFA? Which state was also previously known as the North East Frontier Agency or NEFA. Nagaland. Nagaland is the incorrect answer. So moves on to Team C. Balika Vidyalaya, do you have an answer? Mizoram. Mizoram, no, it's not the right answer. Team A? Meghalaya. Meghalaya, no, it's not the right answer. The answer I was looking for, Team B, is Arunachal Pradesh. Okay? North East Frontier. The word frontier means at the border. Okay? Now, moving on, this is a direct question for Team C, Balika Vidyale. Listen carefully, 10 seconds. The Eastern Air Command is one of the five operational commands of the Indian Air Force in India. The area of responsibility of the Eastern Air Command now covers 11 states. Where is the headquarters of the Eastern Air Command? Team C. Umiyam. Um, no, that's not the answer I'm looking for. Team A? Upper Shillong. Upper Shillong, I'll give it to you. That is the correct answer. Five points to Team A. Lady Keen School. Moving on, now this is a direct question for Team A. Listen carefully. You've heard of the Indian Standard Time? Yes. IST? Yes. The Indian Standard Time is the time which is observed throughout India. In which Indian city is the IST calculated? as the city is nearly located to the corresponding longitudinal reference line of IST. In which Indian city is the IST calculated? 
Delhi. Delhi. Not the right answer. Moves on to team B. MPPS. Do you have an answer? Five seconds. Okay, passes on to Palika Vidyalaya. Bangalore. Bengaluru, no, that's not the answer I'm looking for. TBA, very easy. The answer is Mirzapur. Okay, the IST, it passes through Mirzapur. This is what you've read in your school textbooks as well. Moving on, this is a direct question for team BMPPS. Listen carefully, it's a question from geography. Listen. The ozone layer absorbs most of the sun's ultraviolet rays. It contains high concentration of ozone in relation to other parts of the atmosphere. This is your question. The ozone layer exists in which part of the atmosphere? As you are aware, the atmosphere composes of different layers. So I want you to give me the name of the part of the atmosphere where the ozone layer is existing. Ionosphere. 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 That's not the correct answer. Moves on to team C. Hemosphere. Hemosphere. No, that's not the correct answer. Stratosphere. Stratosphere. Yes, that's the answer I was looking for. Five points, team A, Lady Keen. In the ionosphere, we have the radio signals, not the ozone layer. Okay? So, this is a now a direct question for team C, Balika Vidyalaya. Listen carefully. It's a question from Indian polity. Listen carefully. Members of which particular community can the president of India nominate to the Lok Sabha being two in number? So the president of India can nominate two members of this particular community to the Lok Sabha. I want you to give me the name of the community. Five seconds, ten seconds, team C. Balika Vidyale. Vulnerable. Vulnerable. I can't get your answer. Sir, vulnerable. Vulnerable? No, sorry, I'm asking you the name of the exact community, so that's not the answer. Team A, Lady King? It's the Dalits. The Dalits. No, it's not the Harijans, sorry. For Team B? Foreigns. The Foreigns. Foreigns. That's not the answer I'm looking for. How can foreigners be nominated to the Lok Sabha? It's not the answer I'm looking for. The right answer I'm looking for, Team C, is the Anglo Indian community. So the President of India can nominate two members of the Anglo Indian community to the Lok Sabha. So with that, we've come to the end of round one. It's been pretty exciting so far. So let's move on now to round two of today's quiz, which is an audio-visual round. Okay? So before we begin, let me explain to you the rules. Each team will be asked one audio-visual question. Questions will pass during this round. 10 seconds to answer a direct question. 5 seconds to answer a past question. 20 points for correctly answering a direct and 10 points for correctly answering a past question. There's a catch here. Minus 5 points for an incorrect answer, whether it's a direct or a pass. So be very careful, okay? So let's begin. Again, this is the first question in this round is for Team A, Lady Keen. It appears to be a picture. It's a very, very interesting and fun question. So please have a look and then I'll ask the question. All right. This fruit is believed by many to have its origins in Africa. When this fruit arrived in India centuries ago, the local population did not know the real name of the fruit, but instead they named the fruit, though in a corrupted form, after the country it is believed to have come from. Name the fruit and the country. This is a fun trivia. Interesting question. Can you give me the answer? I just gave you the clue there. I said it has its origins in Africa. Team A. Okay, moves on to Team B, MPPS. Pass. Pass, all right. Mm. Balika Vidyale. Uh, New Zealand. Unfortunately, I must give you minus points. It's not New Zealand. I've already given you the clue. I said origins in Africa. How can New Zealand be from Africa? No, that's not the correct answer. This. Haven't you ever had this fruit? What is it? It's Mosambi. Mosambi. And from where does it come from? Mozambique. Get it? So the our forefathers, they didn't know how to pronounce the name of Mozambique. So they said Mosambi. So that's how we got the name of that fruit. So no points there. So moving on, 
This is a direct question for team B, MPPS. It is a video clip. So see the video clip first, have a look at it, and then I'll ask you the question. All right, so you saw the video, this is your question. The scene you just saw is taken from the movie King Arthur Legend of the Sword, which is a 2017 epic fantasy movie about the legendary King Arthur of England. I think you've heard of him. Sure. Yes. What you saw him drawing out of the stone is a powerful sword which is believed to be imbibed with supernatural powers. Name this famous sword which is known the world over in folklore and legends. Give me the name of the sword. You are passing that question. Moves on to team C. Pass. Okay, moves on to team A. Do you have an answer? Pass. Oh, okay. No one is willing to try it out. Such an easy question. The name of the sword is Excalibur. Okay, that's the name of the sword. The sword of King Arthur, Excalibur. So moving on, now this is a direct question for team C. Balika Vidyalaya, very interesting question. Have a look at the picture and then I'll ask you your question. This picture was taken in the year 1879 of a young man who briefly studied law at the University College London. While in London, he stayed at a family-owned house near Brighton and who? Who is he? I want you to give me the name of this particular man. Okay, time's up. Moves on to team A. Team B. Pass. Alright, so none of the teams are willing to give me an answer. Look carefully at this picture. Can't you recognize who that man is? That is Rabindranath Tagore. Okay, that was Rabindranath Tagore when he was young without his signature beard. So no points there. Team C. Balika Vidyale. Alright, so after those two rounds, let me tell you the scores so far. It's a pretty tight race. Team A, that is uh, Lady Keen School, is with 10 points, leading the quiz so far. Then Team B, which is a school from Meghalaya Police Public School, is in second place so far with 5 points. And Team C, unfortunately, is in the negative side with minus 5 points. But all three teams, don't be disheartened because as you can see, the race is pretty close. So we have two more rounds, anything can happen. So let's move on now to our third round in today's quiz and that is the dumb charades round, okay? So before we begin, let me explain to you the rules. Each team will be given one word or phrase to enact during this round. One team member will have to enact the word or phrase and the other teammate must correctly guess the word or phrase in question. The teammate enacting the phrase or word must use only their body language. They are not allowed to use their voice or their lip movements okay so be very careful 60 seconds to each team to answer a question 30 points solid 30 points for a correct answer you can play it cool here no negative markings so you can keep on guessing until you give me the right answer questions will not pass during this round okay are the rules clear yes sir all right so let's begin with our dumb shards round i invite a team member from team a lady king school please come forward and pick a chip from this basket and let's see what your word or phrase is. Just show it to me. Give me a nod, just nod your head if you understand. Okay. So, I this question, it relates to a character of a children's series or a serial, okay? Children's serial or series, a character, English. So, you have 60 seconds. Your time starts now. Books. Heart. Sheep. 
SpongeBob SquarePants? That is correct. Yes, it is SpongeBob SquarePants. Thirty points to Team Lady Keen. Good guess over. Good guess, Team A. It is SpongeBob SquarePants. So now let's move on to Team B. MPPS. Are you ready? Yes. So please, one of you come forward. Pick up a chip and just show it to me. Yeah, you can pick it up. Not if you understand. Okay. So okay, it's an English movie. Yes, you can say it's an English movie, and it's from a children's uh, movie. Okay. So fantasy movie. So you can begin. Okay, if you are ready, sixty seconds. Your time starts now. Boom. Down. Push. Keep guessing, you still have time. Oh, unfortunately, time's up. So, I think he was trying to show you a hat, right? A hat, a wizard's hat. And he was trying to show you his magical moves. The name of the character I was trying to tell you is, he was trying to tell you is the Wizard of Oz. The Wizard of Oz, okay? <laughs> so no points there. Team MPPS. So moving on, this is a uh, direct question now for team C. So please come forward. There's only one chit remaining. Show me the chit. Just nod if you understand. You don't understand? Okay. Let me write it for you here then. This. You understand? It's a series, it's a children's series, a serial where you see it all the time. Okay, when you were small, I think you've watched this also. So you have 60 seconds. Your time starts now. Route. Ra railway. Path. 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 Part way, parting. Footpath. Walking in park. Walking path. A road. A, a place where to walk. Part. Parting. Time's up. You were nearly there, path, road, but she was trying to tell you a street. So the name of the series is Sesame Street. Okay? So that's the name of the children's series. So no points there. Team C. Alright, so we've come to the end of the third round. So now let's move on to our fourth and final round. And that is the rapid fire round. Okay, so let's begin. Before we begin, of course, let me explain to you the rules. Each team will be asked a series of questions. Each team will be given 40 seconds to answer all the questions. 10 points for a correct answer, minus 5 points for an incorrect answer. If a team does not know an answer, say pass. And I'll move on to the next question and shall come back to the past questions 
if there's sufficient amount of time left. Are the rules clear? Yes, sir. Okay, then. Let's begin. Team A, your series of questions. 40 seconds. Are you ready? There's no need for a buzzer. You just have to give me the answer. If you can't answer, say pass, pass, and I'll come back with this time. Okay? Alright, then. Team A, 40 seconds. Are you ready? Your time starts now. Full form of ECG. ECG. Pass. pass. Capital of Algeria. Pass. Currency of Ghana. Ghanaian. Ghanaian. Pass. Who is known as the maid of Orleans? Pass. First woman president of the Indian National Congress. In Indira Gandhi. That is incorrect. Minus points. Who is the author of the book Wings of Fire? APJ Abdul Kalam. That is correct. Full form of ECG. Time's up. Let me give you the answers to the questions. Full form of ECG. Electrocardiogram. Capital of Algeria is Algiers. Currency of Ghana is CD. C E D I. Who is known as the Maid of Orleans? Very easy question. Joan of Arc. First woman president of the Indian National Congress, it's not Indira Gandhi. The first one is Annie Besant. Annie Besant. And who's the author of the book Wings of Fire? Yes, it's the late APJ Abdul Kalam. Alright, now, so let's begin with Team B. Are you ready? Yes, sir. 40 seconds. Your time starts now. Full form of EVM. Electric, ele electronic voting machine. That is correct. Capital of Ecuador. Pass. Pass. Currency of Fiji. Yen. That is incorrect. Minus points. Largest temple in the world. Pass. Who is known as Lok Manya? Pass. Who is the author of the book Robinson Crusoe? Pass. Capital of Ecuador. Pass. Largest temple in the world. Pass. Who is known as Lok Manya? So, let me give you the answers to the other questions. Capital of Ecuador, it's Quito. Currency of Fiji is not Yen. Yen is for Japan. This is the Fiji dollar. Largest temple in the world. I think you've heard of the Angkor Wat. It's in Cambodia. Who is known as Lokmanya? Very easy question. It's Bal Gangadhar Tilak. And who's the author of the book Robinson Crusoe? It's Daniel Defoe. Okay. So let's move on now to Team C, the last, the last series of questions in today's quiz. Are you ready? Okay then, 40 seconds. Your time starts now. Full form of FIR. Pass. Capital of Cuba. Pass. Currency of Georgia. Pass. First Indian woman to climb Mount Everest. Pass. Pass. Who is known as the father of medicine? Alexander. That is incorrect. Minus points. Who is the author of the book? Neil Darpan. Pass. Full form of FIR. Time's up. So let me give you the answer to the other questions. Full form of FIR. When you go to police station, you write an FIR, that's First Information Report. Capital of Cuba, capital of Cuba, it's Havana. Currency of Georgia is Lari. First Indian woman to climb Mount Everest. Very easy question, Bachendri Pal. Who is known as the father of medicine? Hippocrates. And who's the, and who's the author of the book? Neil Darpan, Dean Bandhu Mitra. Okay. So we're done with today's quiz. All the four rounds are completed. So let me give you the final score tally. In third place, we have the team C. That is from Balika Vidyalaya. Unfortunately, with minus 10 points. In second place, we have the team, team B. That is the Meghalaya Police Public School with 10 points. And therefore, they're moving to the next round. And the winners of today's quiz episode is the team from Lady Keen School with 45 points.
So dear viewers, we've come to the end of this episode as well. Until we meet again next time, this is your quiz master saying goodbye. Thank you.